Is it all good YouTube? It is. Mint! And welcome to Great World Fitness. Now you've seen the title and you soon put it up. What's the title soon? Uh, have we got a title? Possibly. The same old, same old, did it? No, no title. Possibly. Possibly. The title could be Training When You're an Old Bastard. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was flicking through my old videos and I came across the one. What's up there, love? I've just twisted my knee the wrong way. Now I'll tell you what, we're going to come to that. <laughs> so I was flicking through my old videos and there was a... There, are you sure you're alright down there? Alright, okay. I'll give you five. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> right, carry on. We'll get to that bit anyway. <laughs> so, one of my videos of, of like five, six years ago was training into my forties. And I watched it and fuck me I'm boring, but... <laughs> You've only just come to that conclusion, love. <sighs> So, yeah, my training has changed immensely, and from watching that video, it had trained immensely from the previous five years of my training. So, basically, I mean, I've been training now for 35 years plus now, so as I've got older, you've got to change. Now, that's my point of view. You know, you will get the Michael Hearns, the rocks that, that are training like they're still in the 20s. Listen, when I was in my 20s, I could piss bark off a tree i run through a brick wall, but that ain't happening now. So, I've had to change. Now, my way of thinking now is trying to bulletproof the body a bit for the future years. So, I've done away with squats and deadlifts in a way. I still squat, but I'll find a variation that works for me. Uh, a good variation for me is the landmine goblet squat. That's a good variation for me. And I find that when you injure yourself, you're picking something really awkward up off the floor. So deadlifts haven't got entirely, but I'm now doing the axle bar deadlifts, which is a thicker bar. I don't use straps or anything like that. So the weight is greatly reduced, but it's making the body work in a different manner. Like you're picking up an awkward object. Does that make sense, Sue? Kind of. Kind of. Now, machines are great. But they put it puts you in like a fixed plane, so you're not you you're not working those other little stabilising muscles. So I've been doing for the last probably about eighteen months, starting my whole body routine with kettlebell swings. But now I've increased it to a heavy kettlebell heavy kettlebell swing because you're moving a weight through motion, and that is when you've got to get your body used to these motions of you don't want to have your body set and rigid you want as you get older you, you whether it fluid yeah be a bit more fluid plus i'm always being saying about compound movement so i've taken that to the next level as well and i've been doing whole body movements similar to like the clean and press you've got to get your body used to moving weight through different ranges of motion like i say machines are all right but they're just fixing that plane and I, you've got to, the old adage, 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 move it or lose it, basically. Now, if you're not quite grasping this, here's a great one for you. You know when you're in your 50s, late 40s, and you're feeling a bit frisky, yeah? And you think, I know, let's have a bit on the couch. <laughs> you get on the couch, and within a few minutes, sweet baby Jesus, there's cramp going on. There's all sorts, and before you know it, you're hopping around like the Easter Bunny, and the moment's gone. <laughs> now, if you get my drift, you're thinking about it now, aren't you? So, now cardio wise, the running's gone, <laughs> that, <laughs> the running has gone now, but um, what I like to do now is I'll group all the small muscle groups like the arms and calves and abs, and I'll, if you've watched my videos in the past, I like doing some sort of, like a circuit. Yeah, it's not going to affect your central nervous system, but it's going to get your breathing heavy, and I'll do that a couple of times a week. Heart pumping. Get, get the heart pumping. It's... As you, as you get older, you've got to be thinking of, now then, will this help me in day-to-day -day life? Will this help me climb, climbing up a set of stairs so I'm not out of breath? Stuff like that. I know if, if you've got a sport, that's fair enough. You know, if you're a powerlifter or whatever, yes. But if, if you've if you're not got a, a specific sport like powerlifting and whatnot, I would start thinking about when you're in your late 40s about bringing in movements that are more functional. 
And I know CrossFit sort of gets a bad rep of, of getting um, of injuries, but they take it to that it's excess, extreme, to that extreme. But I think there's a lot of good uh, movements in CrossFit to bring in. Also with Strongman, you know, there's some great movements in Strongman that, that will help you on day-to-day -day life, you know, whether it be uh, the log press, anything like that. I'm going to get myself a log. Oh, yeah? <sighs> <laughs> I could go there, but I'm not going to. No! <laughs> don't be going, don't bring it. Look! We're taking I was the... going to bring it down to my level. Yeah, well, don't. The All right. Floor. All right. <laughs> yeah. My level's the floor. All right. Just don't bring it down to your level. <laughs> also, um, I'm loving, um, like, like I said, the axle bar, and I like putting on. Oh. Um, the adapters for it and like in a pressing movement the weights will move so it's, it's getting those stabilizing muscles again to, to work it's like I've said machines are, machines, machines are fine but just getting to that fixed plane of motion and bringing in these functional movements I think uh, has benefited, benefited, benefited me greatly sweet baby you can tell it's Sunday morning can't you I need a sausage sandwich <laughs> <laughs> Love. Oh, dear, That's another. There's two smutty. <laughs> might be three. Yeah, I've been having sex on the couch and everything, <laughs> and you're going off on a sausage sandwich. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. What else, babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'll catch you next time.